Do you ever hate being right? What if you were able to predict something? Something that you didn't want to be the case? Like when you have that pit in the middle of your stomach, you know it in your guts, but it's not a particularly pleasant piece of knowledge. Like you've just done that fourth shot of Cuervo and you know, you know in your heart of hearts, this is now a problem. Well, if you're anyone who's been following the image killer closely, you'll know that I am of course referencing my prediction from last week. So I'm Ben Robinson and here's what we know. If you saw the news late last night and follow this podcast, which if you're listening, I assume you do, then you know that my prediction for who IK might take out next was in fact correct. Pause for dramatic effect. Correct. Now I'm not so petty as to point out how many of you disagreed with my theory, but know that I took no joy in the murder. Just in that warm, chocolatey knowledge that I was right and you were wrong. Anyway, the kill, surprisingly, was completely in line with IK fashion. Boomer Branson's body was found at 2 p.m. yesterday afternoon, buried in the dirt backstop directly behind a gun range. His body was covered in a thin layer of dirt after he was rendered unconscious, and then he was accidentally murdered by hundreds of rounds of ammunition that gun owners shot towards the back of the range at their own targets, and comical zombie cardboard cutouts. This is a Machiavellian kill in its purest form. She scores points for technical difficulty and bonus points for creativity. If I had a score sheet, I think this would be near the top of IK kills. So allow me to break it down for you. But if you're too squeamish for the topic of death, take this moment to punch yourself in the head. So let's take it back to the beginning. I'm going to make some assumptions here, but as we now know, my assumptions are normally correct, so we'll just roll with it. IK tracked down Boomer Branson based on his racist, gun-enthusiastic rants that he posted online. Once tracking him down, she just had to find a way to render him unconscious. My guess is based on one of his older video rants called Hold My Beer, she likely spiked his drink with a sedative and waited for the pill to do its magic. After that, it was all about getting that perfect plan in place to put him out of his misery. And what's fascinating is that IK didn't necessarily kill him. She just put him in immediate and imperative danger. Now, maybe she did strap on some goggles and earplugs and plug a few rounds into Mr. Branson, but that's neither here nor there. Because to be fair, it's going to be almost impossible to determine which bullet actually did the deed, seeing how it was the SMG Expo weekend at that particular gun club. But here's where things really get interesting. Somehow, IK managed to get the body from point A, the local dive bar where his truck was found, to point B, the gun range, without anyone noticing. Police did scrub security footage from the gun range and no evidence was found which means that she must have some sort of technological prowess here, as I've long suspected. How's that for a bit of juicy intel for all you investigators out there? No alarms triggered, no security footage, and 12 hours later a dead body is found continuing his dirt nap with the addition of a few thousand bullets. Now we know that she has the means to move a body as she sees fit, and now we know that she is not unfamiliar in dealing with security technology, but she also knew that this would be a confirmed kill. I don't know if this was a big accomplishment for her, or if this was just simply another day at the office, but getting back to the current case on hand, the creativity here is what really sets her apart from other serial killers. She loves creating these bureaucratic nightmares everywhere, and this one works flawlessly. It's a message to all gun enthusiasts, because if they didn't enthusiastically fire at Boomer's body, albeit unwittingly, then Boomer would still be alive. So what do you do? Do you charge 76 people with manslaughter, or are you just chalking it up to bad luck? Based on the press release that was issued, I really don't think the police have any leads here. The body was found likely within 18 hours of it being placed there by the marshal who drew the short end of the stick and had to go rake the dirt at the end of the day. Noticing a strange discoloration and smell, he decided to dig a little deeper and was met with about 155 pounds of lead-seasoned hamburger meat. According to Mr. Branson's toxicity charts, it appears that he was given a hefty dose of horse tranquilizer eight hours before his time of death, which means that the bullets did officially kill him. What's interesting about this is that while we've seen IK use sedatives on victims prior to their demise several times now, this is the first time we know for sure that she made personal contact. I hesitate to say that it's added to her MO, but it's hard to ignore the emerging pattern. Does she befriend them? Does she approach them posing as a fan? Whatever it is, it looks like she's made it part of her process. And it makes sense. Lull your victims into a false sense of security, make them feel safe, or better than safe, loved. Then hack them to bits with gore and irony. 
So if you're out there and a new and excited fan reaches out to you, don't leave your beer or vital organs unattended, or you might find yourself going out with a bang. That's all I've got for you guys. Good night.